record and we can stop talking about Jade's boobs. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> face. <laughs> I'm in awe. Um, all right. Hey, guys. Good morning. Everybody good morning. Doing Hey, um, okay, so I wanted to take just a minute, and you guys can, like, unmute yourself as you want to, but I, before we get started, I really just kind of want to celebrate. I'm so proud of you guys. Like, I'm so proud of our team. Like, I'm looking at all these different people, and you're all at different points in your journey, but, like, everybody, no matter what your business has looked like in the past three or four months, whatever, or if you're brand new, like everybody that I'm looking at right now, like has stepped it up in the past month. And I see that and I'm so excited for you guys. And so like, I just wanted to take a minute and ask you guys to think about like what, I want you to celebrate something that is going well in your business. Would you guys take a minute to do that? And I just drop that on you. Um, but like, I really want you guys to just take a minute and cause I think that's important because I think that, you know, we get wrapped up in I'm posting, I'm inviting, you know, I don't, I haven't hit success club, but you guys are doing awesome, awesome things. And I think that we should celebrate it. So who wants to go first? Anybody want to go first? <laughs> Mm, y'all come on I'll say because uh one Gina is brand new but she posted her coach announcement yesterday um and that is exciting like that is scary and nerve-wracking but it was so so good so I'm gonna celebrate her on that look people like hopped off they're like she's gonna call me out I'm gonna drop the call <laughs> um somebody else somebody else tell me what's going well um I will um, well, when I, you know, first got pregnant, I was super sick. So there was a lot of days that I just didn't feel like doing my power hours. And this week, um, I have been consistent in doing my power hour and, um, I'm using Teamsy. So that's been helpful and keeping me on track and staying motivated. Good, good. Um, yeah, Teamsy guys, that is something that's super cool. Um, if you ever like, I feel like where we're at, you know, and especially like where Jade's at, you know, in her business, it's going to help her a lot, but, um, that's just a really cool resource. You do pay for it. Um, but it, it, it can really help direct you in your daily power hour. Um, Elena said, I'm super excited that I get to work out again. I've been recovering from a knee injury. Oh man, that stinks. I'm glad you're getting to work out again too. Um, and then like Adrian, I don't know what Adrian's doing cause I can't see her, but she, her stories are awesome. Adrian is not on Facebook, um, but she's on Instagram and she has really been like doing her proof of the product and inviting and stuff through her stories. And I think that she's done a really, really good job. So like, I'm going to celebrate you and call you out for that. Um, but anyway, so today I want to go through a couple of things and then we are really going to talk about, um, let me make this bigger. We are going to talk about, it's going to work. There it goes. Hold on. Can you guys see my screen? Can somebody see yeah. Okay, good, because I can't see you. Um, so we are going to talk about some new things that are happening um, in Beachbody. So this is going to be very product focused. Um, and, you know, sometimes these calls are about, like, how to share your story, how to post, how to invite, things like this. But this is very product focused because there are some awesome things coming down the pike from Beachbody that I am so excited about. Like, I'm so excited about because I really believe that they're going to help us help more people. Um, and I challenged you guys like a couple of weeks ago to, to memorize the scripture verse. And I've been doing it as well. <clears throat> and I'm horrible at memorization. Let me just say that. I'm like, I'm horrible. <clears throat> Sorry. I've got like spinach in my throat. Um, I'm horrible at memorization, but like I swear to you guys, no joke. Like God has called this verse to my to my memory like every single day since I've challenged myself to learn more and to and to memorize more. Um, and because, like I know that you know, like 
doing that during your power hour every day. Get, I mean, it's just like fitness too. Like, get, you know, doing your workout every day, following your meal plan every day. It's not always fun. Like it's not always exciting to get up and push play every day. It's not always exciting to get up and make sure you stick to your meal plan. Sometimes it seems like it would be more enjoyable just to skip a day, you know, but we know that like if we're consistent in our health and our fitness, then that's when the results come, even on the days it's not fun. And, and it's the same concept for this business. I love this business. Like you guys know that. Um, I love what I do as a coach. I love you guys. I love my challengers. I love Beachbody. Um, you know, Beachbody just allows us to do what we get to do, which is just encourage and share. Um, but some days it does feel tedious. Some days it's like, oh, I got to go invite three people and I just don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to look for somebody. I don't want to invite somebody. I don't want to like put myself out there to be rejected. Um, but you know, like when we do it, when we just, when we're consistent in it, then the good stuff comes. And I have clung to this verse, um, so much in the past few weeks. And I, I just challenge you guys. Like, I really want to encourage you guys to, to write it on your heart. Like just memorize it, say it a couple of times a day, and it's going to encourage you in this business. So let's not grow weary because I believe that our team, Team Take Heart, um, Team Compelled by Courage, Team Soul Fit, you know, all of us here together, what we are doing is good. It is so, so good. And we can use this business. We can use this opportunity to love women, to point others to Christ and, and to help show women that, you know, like their bodies, their, their lives, their hearts, everything is done on purpose. And that when we care for them, when we honor God with what he has given us, then our life is so much better. And so don't grow weary in doing good and doing this business because it matters. Like it matters. Um, all right, so here are our success club points. And like, there are so many people on the board. Like, I'm really proud of you guys. And for some of you newer coaches, and I think I misspelled Sherry's name. Sorry, Sherry, if you're watching this. Um, but the success club is whenever you enroll someone, somebody signs up with you as a challenger, as a coach with Shakeology on Home Correct or um, Shakeology and the workout program or access to all access to Beachbody on demand. Um, that is two success club points. And so our goal every single month is success club six. And that would be two, five really, I guess, but I always say six now. Um, but your goal is to find three new people every single month to, um, to join a challenge group with us. Okay. And so that is just how we measure like whether or not our growth is happening in our business, it also measures, are we reaching new people? Are we helping new people? And so like you guys, it is April 14th. Um, you guys have gotten points on the board, which is exciting. Um, and so if you haven't yet, it's not too late. Um, so don't, don't be discouraged if you haven't. Just go out there and don't grow weary in doing that power hour and keep doing it. So what can you invite to? Um, if you're my coach, if you're my personally sponsored coach, you're a newer coach and you're not running a challenge group yourself, um, I have a challenge group starting Monday, April 16th. It's called All In for April. And so you can definitely invite to that. You can invite to that through, I mean, you can invite to that through the rest of the month, honestly. If you need to start a new challenge group uh, later in the month, we can do that to help you guys hit success club. But I honestly, I just add people to the challenge group that I have going. I give them some prep week emails and we keep going. So if you need to keep, if you need success club, if you need to keep inviting, um, invite to that. That also there is on April 23rd, we're starting 80 day obsession round two. Um, so if you have any current challengers, um, let me give you some success club strategies here. Any current challengers, who have maybe done 21 day fix or they've done like shift shop or something else and they want to jump in and do 80 day obsession with us. Like we are running this together as a team, unless you want to run your own. But I know there are like four or five or six of us who are going to run this 80 day obsession round two together. And so what I'm doing is I am taking those people who have completed the last one or two challenge groups with me and saying, Hey, look, you know, you are totally ready. I think you could do 80 day obsession. 
you've come so far, you've gotten such great results. I think this would be a great way for you to challenge yourself a little bit more. And so I'm either offering them if they if they order a completion pack, which is like 80 day obsession um, equipment and the performance line, or uh, they it, it can do one with 80 day obsession, the performance line and Shakeology. Those are on sale this month. And so or I'm switching people over to a coach with that as well. And so when those people sign up for the completion pack or switch over as a coach, you know, you can get success club points for that. Um, reach way back, like reach way. If you've been a coach for a while now, reach way back to your customers, send out an email um, to them about 80 day obsession starting um, on the 23rd, invite them to do it with us. Um, and so like that is a good strategy one for hitting success club. And also you can switch some people to a coach that way too. If you're trying to rank advance or hold your rank too. So those are two things. Um, challenge group wise that are happening this month um, for me. Um, and some of you guys may have some other things to share too if you if you want to invite people to invite to that as well. Um, on the 25th, when I get back from Mexico, I'm going to do a coaching opportunity call that afternoon, that evening, um, April 25th, it's a Wednesday. And I want you guys to invite to that. Um, I'm going to do a sneak peek myself, like while I'm gone, but this coaching opportunity call is team wide. You guys can invite people to it. Um, people who are in your challenge groups, people you think would make great coaches. It'll be at eight o'clock PM central standard time on the 25th. And I'll share some more about that in our group. Uh, but don't be afraid, like be bold in inviting people to coach. Cause next month we are, I'm actually going to co-run, um, a new coach university training on Facebook, kind of like we used to do. I'm going to co-run it with Megan Blinka and so like I feel like we'll have more on you know being there to help people um, uh, get their businesses started right and then next month we're gonna talk about to be mindset today but next month starting May 2nd we're gonna have like just a coach only to be mindset challenge group so that we can actually go through that ourselves and experience it so that we can help other people and guys like I'm telling you like if you're if you're not on this yet like you got to be watching that to be mindset stuff uh, reading up on it understanding what it is and and as we go through it we'll understand it better but I know I know I know without a shadow of a doubt that this is going to help so many people um, our Emerald Retreat is May 4th through the 6th. Um, so far, there are about six of us going to be there. We have room for two more people. So if you haven't PayPal'd me, if you haven't um, sent me that, that money for that weekend, go ahead and do that this week, please, so that we can uh, lock in your spot. But that is for Emerald Coaches. <clears throat> And it's going to be great. We are going to really focus on, Christy's actually, I think, coming over here today. We're going to start planning for it a little bit more. Uh, but we're really going to start, uh, we're going to focus on goal setting, developing your story, um, you know, writing down, really, really making a strong why for your business and letting that guide you in goal setting and developing your story um, and really being able to just kind of nail down who you are, What's your message to your challengers or to your followers? You know, what do you want your focus, your mission to be for your business and letting that really be the thing that drives you. Um, and we're also going to pair up with Melanie Metro um, and their Emerald Retreat and share some training. So that'll be good. Um, this is a lot of information. I know, guys, just bear with me. May 14th is when I think that we're actually going to start like a mind, a to be mindset challenge group. So we will start as coaches on the second and then we'll start inviting people to do it with us on the 14th. Um, and we'll explain some more about that too. And then summit summit is June 21st through 24th in Indianapolis this month. You can get a ticket for $165. Um, it will go up after that, but that's our annual um, coach coach event. It's awesome. It's crazy as well, but it's so much fun and it's so important um, for, for us as coaches to go and do that and be together and learn from everybody at Beachbody. Um, now, you new coaches, if you hit Success Club your first three months, you actually get your ticket for free, but you still want to go ahead and get your ticket um, just so you have a spot there. And if you, if you do that, if you hit Success Starters, hit it your first three months, then they'll reimburse you for your ticket. So, that is important. Do we have any questions about that? Any of that? I'm so quiet today. Okay. I sound like Autumn. Y'all are so quiet. She said that every day on the 80 day obsession. Every day. 
Um, okay, and so I wanted to put this out there because I know that a lot of you guys are pushing for rank advancement. And, you know, like I posted not that long ago on our team page about how important it is to rank advance to emerald and diamond and above for you guys who are in this to really grow a business and to grow an income because i know a lot of you guys have big goals income wise and for your families and so i really wanted to issue this rank challenge if you're a coach you know shoot for emerald rank set a date i think it's so important to set a date to to hit um, success club to hit your rank advancement goals, all those things. Um, but I really want to challenge you guys. So for so long last year, really, I stayed away from pushing you guys to consider rank because I didn't want anybody to feel like this was, I was just pushing you for me or for our team or to make you feel like that that was the most important thing because it's not. But rank is important. Rank is so important in this business. It means that you're helping people. It means that you're growing a business, that you're teaching other coaches to, to run their own businesses, to start and succeed in their own businesses. And yes, it does help you. It does help team take heart. But I want to challenge you guys to really focus on getting to diamond as quickly as possible because that is where the income really starts to grow. I remember that is when I really started to gain confidence as a coach and inviting people to my, to my team so that I could train them. And that is also too where your cycle bonuses and your income growth really starts to happen. So what this is, it's a diamond bubble, kind of a roadmap for you to hit diamond. You have to have four coaches on each leg and one on each side has to be an emerald um, themselves. And if you're new and that overwhelms you, just like bear with me. We'll, we'll go through all that in our trainings and stuff. But uh, for those of you guys who have been a coach for um, for a, even a little while, um, this is something I want you guys, and I'll share this in our team page and you can print it off and start to map out your map out your roadmap. And I'm actually going to do a special call on that soon about how to just do that, how to strategize that. Okay. Um, so now I want to get into, we're going to talk about products. And um, so I think that I, it's easy for us as like with our focus as believers and, you know, really our mission is to share Christ and to, to really pour into our challengers and to help people to realize the value and the worth that their lives and their bodies have, right? You know, my mission is to empower women to believe that and to live it out. And so like when they, for so long as a coach, like I would just really kind of dread product launches because I was like, oh, I got to switch into like sales mode. I got to talk about these specific products, you know, and things like that. And it really turned me off for a long time, but I really felt this switch happen around the time that like maybe 21 day fix extreme or core to force, you know, some of those great programs that we really love came out and I started to do them and to see my challengers do them and get great results. And it was like, there was this shift in my brain from Rachel, you have to talk about this and be salesy to Rachel. You get to do this and get your own results and help other people get their own results too. And you get to help people through these products and through these programs. Okay. And so I always say that I am not just a beach body coach. I am a, a lifestyle coach essentially. And beach body gives me the platform to do that. And so with that, like I really now I love whenever they put out new stuff. Now, you you be too or whatever that was and some of those things are kind of questionable to me but like for people that I get to help like I love this new stuff and so when beach bars came out at first I was like I kind of went back to that old mindset like oh this is a new product I have to promote which I don't have to but I choose to um but you know like oh my gosh when I started to think about it like really I was like, Rachel, you order RX bars. You have an auto shipment on Amazon. You buy LAR bars at the grocery store all the time. Milo's always asking for these five or one bars that are really kind of full of junk. Like this is a gift. Like the fact that Beachbody's put these together, this will help my family. And so if it's going to help my family, it's going to help other people, right? And so like you literally, I have my boxes over here. You can, you can read the ingredients 
on these beach bars, okay? And so like, and at the coach discount, they don't cost any more than an RX bar costs me. So it's not outrageous. People are gonna look at this and they're gonna say, you know, some people are gonna say that's too much. I've even heard coaches say that. But if you stop and you think about where your money goes, just like with Shakeology, if you stop and think about it, like we're spending money on snacks anyways, these are just a much healthier option. Um, and specifically, I really feel like our challengers and our coaches can benefit from this first. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about how to use this to, to get it into the hands of your, your people, your followers, your challengers, um, and how to really use it to grow your business because it is another thing that can help grow our volume, grow our income first. I definitely encourage you guys order your own like you can actually you know if you order a three pack of these on home direct that's two if somebody under you does that's two success club points okay so what I did even though I didn't really need the success club points I did it anyways I got my sister to order a three pack um, on home direct and I got two success club points for it okay um, and so that's something that you could do if you need the points. Sign your husband up as a discount coach with this. Um, sign up somebody else as a discount coach with Beach Bars. I think you can do that. I'm not really sure. Or just like sign your husband up and then order this for the discount um, to keep them active. Um, and so like there are a lot of ways that you can initially get them ordered and help you grow this month and hit your goals this month. Um, but definitely get your own. Try them. Talk about it. When you get them, um, you know, like I did a story on Friday. Friday, no, maybe it was Thursday. I did a story series uh, where I was like, oh, I got them in the mail. I was so excited. I even talked about the fact that I was canceling my RX bar subscription. Um, but I was waiting to like try them to see if I like them first. And, and I do. They're really, really good. They taste good. Milo has eaten one every single day. And so, you know, do, when you get them, do a taste test. Go live. Get your kids to taste them. Get your husband to taste them. Um, I did a live video on Facebook, too. I wasn't really excited about it, but I felt like I should. But I got great response. There were a lot of people that asked me about them and gave me their email address so that they could try them for me to send them information on it, okay? Um, and so, like, don't be afraid to talk about them. People, you people are eating snack bars anyways. Um, just, I mean, like, I highlight stuff that I love on my social media all the time. It's not always beach yeah. stuff. I incorporate lots of different things yeah. that I like. Um, and so like when I do incorporate beach body stuff, I don't feel like I'm being salesy. It's just another thing I've found that I love. Um, and so I talked about them in my challenge groups. Um, I posted about it when I got them. I'm going to include them in my meal plans. So like that's another very indirect way to talk about them. Put it in your meal plan for next week or whenever you get them. Um, share a post. Make a, make a post about give some suggestions in your challenge group or publicly. Like what are some of your favorite family snacks? Because people are always always for me personally asking me about what do your kids eat? What do your kids eat? And so I wrote a blog post about snacks for the ball field and I included um, beach bars. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be like a super direct, Hey, this is a beach bar. Do you want to buy it? Kind of post just with, that's not like, that's not what we're about. Just like anything else. Like how do these fit into your life? How do they fit into your family's life? And, and, and just share that. Um, it's also a really good way to re-engage old customers, people who maybe have fallen off, you know, send them an email about, about you know your upcoming challenge groups and suggest that you know hey we have these new beach bars that have come out especially your discount coaches and working coaches you know that 25 percent off it is a really good deal to buy these bars and you get 15 in a box it's not like you know like when you buy a box of um rx bars or something else you get like five or six but you get 15 of these bars in a box so it's a really really good investment um also, you know, this is something that I did. Um, I talked about why I, why we eat bars, like why I was buying them. Um, you know, we, we're going to travel next week on an airplane, and we're always going somewhere. We're always at the ball field. And it's always hard, you know, to find a really good, clean snack. Um, I'm going to include them in my kids' lunch boxes. I can make a post about what's in my kids' lunch box or a story. And boom, there's a beach bar. Um, you know, you could eat it, I guess, for like 80 day obsession. I was thinking about this. It could be a pre-workout, pre-workout meal, really. Cause it's like a, it's a red, 
a half of a yellow and half of a blue, I think. And so like I could talk about it that way. Um, you could go live and read the label. You know, honestly, uh, people love it when I do live videos about how to read labels or what to buy at the grocery store. Um, you could go live about reading labels and include your beach bar in it. And it could also help, you know, like if you need that 90 PV requirement and you're just overstocked on Shakeology, order a box, order some beach, beach bars. Or if your husband's account needs to stay active, order some beach bars there, okay? Um, so it's a really good option for just for food, nutrition, what we're doing anyways, and also to grow our business. And, and that 90 PV, if you're emerald or above, that PV helps increase your income. So if your challengers see you eating these, your discount coaches see you eating these and they order them themselves, that is going to grow your volume and grow your income. So don't be shy about them. Like don't be shy about talking about beach bars. Like if you go to a restaurant or you order like a cute, bathing suit or something like you know you're gonna talk about it so just share what it is and why it works for you and and just work it into your posts okay do you may have any suggestions on that or questions about that or about beach bars they're really good like I'm not just saying that they're really good especially the cherry almond which are the ones I thought I would not like they're very good um okay <clears throat> So now let's talk about to be mindset. This is the thing. And guys, like this is the thing. Um, I was reading in this personal development book called H3 Leadership about passion. Um, and it's a really good book. He's a faith-based faith -based author who wrote this book about leadership. <clears throat> it's a really good book. Like I definitely suggest it. Um, it's called H3 Leadership. Um, but he was talking about being passionate about what we do. And I was thinking about that, and especially with that scripture verse, Galatians 6, 9, about how, you know, it, it, things can grow weary. We can get tired of doing things. We can get, talk, get tired of talking about our workouts or things like that. But when we're passionate, even about beach bars, when we're excited about stuff and we're passionate about what we're doing and what we're sharing and, and who we're serving, like people get excited about that too. And so long as you communicate that excitement in anything, in anything, it can be about drinking water. It can be about like getting up at 4, 15 in the morning. If you're passionate and excited about it, other people are going to want to do it too. Okay. And so like to be mindset, like I'm so flipping excited about <laughs> Yes, like I cannot stand it because for years, like for almost four years, I've been running challenge groups. I've been leading women. I've been posting. I've been doing my own stuff. And, you know, I've all, I've been running these groups about like eating to glorify God, working out to glorify God, uh, you know, like really honoring him with our choices and our, and our, our bodies. And so to be mindset, like coupled with God's word is going to be a game changer for some women, uh, because it's all about, it is all about how you mentally approach food, what your mindset is for, you know, like yo-yo dieters, people who are emotional eaters. She talks a lot about volume eaters. You know, like I consider myself <laughs> sometimes a volume eater. And that just means like I sit down and I can eat massive amounts of food, not because I need it, but just because that's my mindset. Like if I sit down with a box or a bag or a, one of those things, a cookie dough, like I could just eat the whole thing, not because my body needs it, but because I want it and it tastes good and more of it makes me happier. And so this program is for people like that, people who are late night snackers, people who are always, always starting and stopping again. And that this program is a series of videos, okay? It's not a workout, although you, I am going to couple it with working out myself and other people can too, but it's not a workout program. It is a mindset program. She has a series of videos, and if you're not following her, her name is Alana Molstead, and she's so cute. She's precious. She's actually like about to have a baby now. Now, but um, she she herself has lost a hundred pounds. She was a very obese um, child. I hope you guys listened to that call I shared with you guys. Um, it's in our team page, but she shares her mm -hmm. story. She was very obese and she um, struggled with food for forever. She would go to fat camp every summer, like from the time she was. Uh, I mean, I want to say like nine. She would go to fat camp every like summer, eight. huh? She was like eight. 
eight. It was young. It was really young. And she would lose the weight and then she'd go back to school and go back to her regular life and she'd gain it all back and then some more because she was like, oh, it's okay. I'm going to go to fat camp next summer and I'll just lose it again. You know, and like, I mean, how, I mean, I have never get, I've never been that big, but I've had that mindset, you know, like I'm going to drop I'm going to do the 21 day fix. I'm going to drop six pounds and I'll just go back to what I was doing before and enjoy my food. Right. And so that's her story. Her story is very powerful, but she has created this series of videos and trainings teaching you how to have balance, how to um, have a positive mindset mm -hmm. association with food and not just deprive yourself for a short period of time and then go back to what you're doing, but to, to really, you know, figure out how can I have sustainable long-term, a healthy relationship with food. And I think that no matter where you're at, like, I mean, I struggle with an eating disorder in college. Um, you know, like, and I know that so many women have, they may not say it or share it, but I know that so many women have. Um, and so this program is going to be one of those things that I believe truly, like I already have a list of people in my mind um, that I've already reached out to about this. Like I know that it's going to help a lot of people. And again, it doesn't, it, you, people can do it just by, the, by itself. Like just focus on the nutrition and the food and the, the mindset, or they can do it, couple it with another program that we have, like I'll do it while doing um, AV Day Obsession this time. Um, but we start, it launches on May 2nd. And of course, just like everything else, there's like a package that it comes with. It actually will not be through Beachbody On Demand. Um, it'll be a separate app that she has created. Um, so you have to buy the package and get access to the app and the videos and everything like that. Um, but you know, obviously it'll come with Shakeology. It'll come as a completion pack if you already have BOD and Shakeology. Uh, but it launches on May 2nd. And I don't have all the details about that just yet. But if you follow her on Instagram or on Facebook, she is sharing stuff. And, and so we start May 2nd as a group. And then um, we, I'm planning to start a May 14th challenge group. So that will be my focus over the next month is to really start talking about mindset. And that's my next slide. How am I going to do that? Um, I will probably go back and share about my eating disorder that I struggled with. Um, just because like I know so many women, even y'all, even adults, like when, after I shared that about struggling with bulimia in college, like I had so many women reach out to me, like grown women, like who say, who told me I still do it, Rachel. Like I've, I've been on, I've been on medicine for it. Like I can't stop. Like, you know, like I have talked to so many people who still struggle with those things that we kind of just just try to hide. And so by me not telling my story, I'm not helping anyone. And so I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to talk about the emotional aspects of eating. I'm going to really speak to that in a lot of my posts so that when I start to invite to this challenge group, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm dropping hints, dropping nuggets here and there in my stories, in my, in my posts. Um, and that will, so that when I do invite to this challenge group and I'm calling my nutritional makeover or I can't remember what it's called, but I'll show you in just a second. Um, so that's going to be my approach. And again, like I do, really, I do really think this is going to transform some people's lives. Um, I'm going to do a live video about mindset and, and nutrition and, you know, yo-yo dieting. I'm going to, that's on my list to do next week. I'm going to do a live video and probably a story series about it. Okay. Um, so these are some suggestions on how you can use TV mindset to start promoting it and start, I'm not really going to say to be mindset a whole lot, probably hardly at all, but I am going to be talking about this and inviting people to do it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do a live video about nutrition and just our obesity crisis and, and, you know, yo-yo dieting, emotional eating, share a little bit of my story and invite people who struggle with those same things to come and to learn about and be a part of this nutritional mindset makeover um, boot camp is kind of what I'm calling it. I'm going to create an event on Facebook this week. And when I do that, I'll share it with you guys on our team page so you can see my wording and everything. I've already created a sneak peek group on Facebook. So it's just a private Facebook group that I'm putting people into. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. Um, I'm putting 
people into who want to be a part of this test group, as I'm calling it. Um, and so what I'm doing in there is I'm just dropping something like every day. I'll go live in there, but I'm usually I'm using a lot of stuff from Ilana's web page or Facebook uh, like page and putting it in there and just dropping some stuff there. Um, I'm going to send out, a, I wrote a blog post, I'm going to send out an email to my current customers and coaches and share, to, share about it with them. Definitely follow up with people who have been in your challenge groups before, who just quit, who gave up. Uh, follow up with people who said no, that they were afraid they couldn't commit, um, and definitely, definitely commit to doing this with us as a team um, starting May 2nd, because if you watched her video, she said very clearly, very plainly, like this is not one of those things you can expect to lead a group without having done it yourself. I feel like it's not like, it's not like core to force. Like if somebody wants to do core to force and you've never done it, you just say, okay, here's the workouts and here's the meal plan program, you know, just go do it. You can, you can lead a challenge group without having done core to force. But I feel like to be mindset is going to be one of those things that you really need to do it in order to help other people with it yourself. Okay. Um, hey Rachel, so, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. How do you get success club points from it? Um, it's going to be like a pack, just like, just like everything else. It's going to be like, you get the TV mindset, uh, resources and Shakeology. Okay. So you get Shakeology with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, it will be. And she talks a lot about Shakeology. So let me, let me show you guys something. Uh, okay. So let me share my screen again. Hold on a second. <laughs> um, Yes, it'll be just like a pack, like everything else. But, so this is my private group that I created. I just went to Canva, created a banner. And for me, like as I was thinking about this, and I wrote a blog post about it, and all I did with the blog post was I went to Beachbody's, like the Coach Online Office. There's that, that information about program or their blog. If you go to Beachbody's blog, you can read about it. Um, and I just pulled stuff from there. So this is the group and I'm adding people. And honestly, the first thing that I did guys, when I really kind of got the gist of what this was, is I went back to those challengers who, who were part of a challenge group. They did really well. Um, and even some coaches that were just like, they couldn't, they couldn't stick with the nutrition. Like they love beach body, but they could not commit to consistently fueling their bodies the right way. They just had that bad relationship with food. And I went back to those people first and I was like, look, here's this group. Here's this program that's coming out in May. I really, really, really want you to be a part of this test group with me. Um, and so, you know what? Those people were not offended. <laughs> they were not offended. Um, actually, more than one of them said, oh, Rachel, I'm drowning. I need this so badly. You know, and so like, don't be afraid to invite people to do this because people are drowning in their, in their bad choices and in their lack of self-control. And I know that this will help those people. And so that verse just came to me, like, as I was writing and thinking, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And so like, I'm going to couple this with God's word, um, without a doubt. I think that's the only way to do it for me personally. And so what I'm doing, so like yesterday, I went to Alana's website or her Facebook page, and she's dropping like all this good stuff, this really good content over there. Um, and so like, I'm just going to use that stuff and share it in this group. And I'm going to go live from time to time and talk about when I, when I learn new stuff or talk about my, my focus for the group, what I want to help my challengers achieve. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. There's another one. I posted a, um, a description, but I'm really going to start going in there every single day um, and, and posting and encouraging people and getting them excited about it. Uh, but her website, I don't even know how to spell her name. It's kind of weird. Alana. A N A. What is it? I L A N A. A N A. Got, this is the pack that this is on her Insta. You see my she photo? Just something, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Plus, Shakeology is the challenge pack. Yeah. Dogs. There we go. So this is her like page. Um, and she's sharing transformations on there. So there it is right there. Um, it's a video-based program for $99. So I would think it's going to be 160 with Shakeology, just like everything else. Um, and so she's got transformations. I'll pull transformations from in there and post them. Um, in that group as well as publicly. So she's got this like cauliflower rice post, which looks really cool. 
Um, and then, you know, so I'm just going to pull stuff from there. Like I'm not sitting around having to come up with all my own like content for that group or anything, but it's already tips that will help some people to get started. Um, let's see, how do I put that of this? Okay. Stop share. I have no idea what I'm doing right there. Um, but it's I like, watch the video, listen to her share about it. She's a certified uh, nutritionist. Um, she, she developed this program at, where was it? UCLA, I think UCLA. Um, she's been like implementing it for a really long time. And so here's the thing, like I, you know, I'm always talking to you guys about your story, about developing your story. Your, your story is your marketing message. And so like, this is going to look different for each of us. Jade's pregnant. Jade, you know, probably has a huge following of people who can't work out or they just had a baby or, you know, things like that. Or she's going to have that, that group, that following. And so like, she's going to kind of market it probably a different way than I would. Um, I'm going to talk about the fact that, you know, like I did struggle with a, with a, a eating disorder. I'm going to talk about, I still, like I still can easily fall back into that that bad relationship with food where like, I just want all the food. Like I want, especially like PMS time, like I want all the food. Um, and so like, you know, our stories are all going to be different. So just what I want to challenge you guys is to pray about and really think about like, how can I share some of the more emotional pieces of my story? Because I'll tell you, like we can work out all day long. We can make a meal plan every week. We can do all this stuff. Um, the people don't relate. I mean, that's encouraging and inspiring, but what really gets people going is when they see us and hear us share our struggles and share the fact that we're human and that we have hard things that we deal with, um, but we're choosing to overcome through these programs, through these accountability groups, you know, through all that, that's what really, really gets people to connect with us and to join us. Um, let's see if there's, seems like there was something else. Um, so what do you, what questions do you guys have like about any of that or anything to add to it? Like if you want to add to that, please do. Lauren, you're pretty like up on it, aren't you? You watched all the stuff. I could unmute myself. Um, yeah, I watched, I didn't get through the whole thing that she did on for the team, the dream team call. It's really good though. I would go listen to it. Her story's amazing. So yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Um, it's just more trying to figure out how to, I'm doing 80 day obsession, how we're going to incorporate this 80 day obsession stuff too. So that'll be interesting, but I think it's just some good, helpful, like just ways to eat. So yeah. So, yeah. you know, like, that's a good thing, you know, so I'm going to be doing 80 day obsession too. And so for me with 80 day obsession, I actually learned a lot. Like I'm always, I feel like I'm always learning about my body, what it right. responds to, what triggers, you know, what emotional triggers I have. Um, because honestly, I'll be truthful and I'm going to share this like next week when I share my transformation, I struggled with getting good results or the best results that I probably could have with 80 day obsession because my mindset was like, I was like, okay, I got to nail this. Like I have to nail this. I have to do this perfectly. And that y'all that screwed me up. Like <laughs> that messed me up. And so like, honestly, I'm excited about doing round two without that pressure on myself. And that's an emotional mindset in regards to food that I can talk about. And I don't have to say anything about to be mindset. Um, I don't have to say anything about, you know, anything like that, but it, that's something emotional that I have struggled with um, that I can share and that I know that other people can struggle with. And that's the thing to be mindset is not going to be about doing it perfectly. It's going to be about figuring out what trips you up. You know, like if, if Oreos are your downfall, you get it out of the house. She's going to teach you how to like go to like, uh, a, she said something about like a tailgate party or a Super Bowl party or something and, you know, navigate it so that you don't walk out like having eaten like five plates of food. Right. Um, and so it's not about perfection. It's about figuring out what your triggers are, what your emotional triggers are. And, you know, if you want the margarita, drink the margarita, just don't have 16 of them, you know? Not that anybody, but that's an exaggeration, but 
you know, that's so like those things. So I am definitely going to incorporate it with 80 day obsession because honestly, I'm going to follow the 80 day obsession meal plan, but I'm not going to try to restrict myself so strongly um, because that always, always, always makes me mess up. It does. Yeah, it was hard. Like the, I, after I kind of gave up the whole, like, I have to eat the time nutrition, like exactly perfect. It was better because I can't just the way my life is. I can't that last meal, like it's going to happen at seven or eight, not at five thirty or six. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. If you work out with me in the morning, you know that me eating before workout is not a good thing. Yeah. That, I mean, I like eating before workouts, the hard ones, but it's just, We'll see. <laughs> yeah. All the stomach issues for me. Um, okay. So does that, does that make sense? Like you, can you guys get behind this and like see what it is? Um, and definitely, you know, like definitely, like I said, follow her. She's so cool. She has great energy. Um, read that blog post, watch the video she did for the dream team. Um, and I will like you guys, if you don't get my emails, whether it's my customer emails or my coach emails, like tell me and I can add you to those lists so that you see what I'm doing. Um, because I think that especially for you guys who have established customers, just putting this information out there and, and inviting them and stuff is a, it's a really good thing, especially for re-engaging old challengers or customers or coaches, you know, I think it's going to be great. I'm excited about it. Um, all right. So anything else before we go, you guys have any questions or anything else? Don't go. Cause I want to take a picture. <laughs> 